you know, and, and Glenn had found this place on 23rd Street. So I said, yeah, all right. And uh, we just went and we had like a phone line. Uh, I don't know if some of you may have seen some pieces of it. It's, there's a documentary about it, I think. Um, it's really actually a good documentary about it. Um, and we had guests, you know, so we had, you know, all our friends basically were our guests, so it'd be like The Clash, or Fat Five Freddy, or Jean-Michel Basquiat, or David Bowie, or whoever was in town, or whoever was around. And it was Glenn's thing, and it became like um, theme-oriented sometimes. And I was in this little tiny booth, like about the size of this rug, and it was just really two cameras, usually sometimes three, and all I could do, and there was a headphones, and Lisa Rosen will tell you, she was one of the camera people. Um, you know, I would say, Lisa, can you can you uh, zoom in on uh, Glenn's uh, eyeball? And she's like, what? <laughs> you can also type, you can type, you, you can type uh, things on the screen. Yeah, and there was a... You were very funny. You write very funny things on the people. Right. <laughs> Yes, the viewers could see that we had, or the other thing besides going between cameras was this Chiron that we could, I, could, I could write stuff like, usually it was the phone number to call, but sometimes I'd write like, I'd respond to somebody, something, somebody was saying something, it was my response to it, usually very sarcastic and stupid, but, and then uh, John michel would come in the booth, and he'd kind of like sit on my knee and like push me away from the Chiron, he would write words because his art had a lot of words in it. Um, so it was very, it was a lot of fun. It was also, we were very, very, very high. <laughs> um, uh, which helped a lot, I think. But it also shows in the, in the work that it was also, you know, s somewhat incoherent, I would say. Yeah. Do you think TV Party could work now? Um, I don't think so. I mean, not that TV party. Why would you want to do that to anyone? Um, I mean, there could be a version of it, uh, but, um, you know, I don't know. Can you reheat a souffle? I mean, it, yeah, you do. It would become a whole other thing. Should we open it up to questions, maybe? Yeah, we definitely can. <laughs> Theory. To that point, I wanted to ask you, um, now that we all like post stuff as we sort of, you know, in the process, and there's not a lot of like, introspection, or there's not a lot of time to weigh and think, and things happen very kind of um, uh, immediately. Do you think that something's like gained for that, or do you think that we mostly lost it? Well, I think it's both, actually. I think we lost, uh, I mean, for me, we lost a, a, a kind of, a, you know, the ground by which the nurturing comes through, because we're more out there than here. But I think we've gained um, in accessibility and seeing stuff. So, and that's why I think we're in a kind of a different kind of golden age. I think that um, the bigger difference is actually not cultural 